Hey guys, I'm Chess Fry and welcome back to my Sims 4 Let's Play Lover 100 Brief Challenge Season 2, Episode 78. And make sure you guys are leaving those baby names down below because I always, always, always need more baby names for this challenge. And sometimes I use them for other challenges slash let's plays as well. So you never know. So just go ahead and leave those comments down below. But I just wanted to point out before we jump into the gameplay that our butler is back to the female, the non-klepto one. So I feel like because we went off the lot yesterday and came back, every time we go off the lot and come back, it's going to be like a different butler, I think, between the two. I don't think it's going to be any more than those two. I think, I, I don't really know how butlers work, so, uh, you know. But it's 6 o'clock in the morning and it's skill building day. Zoe is going to be in our third trimester in seven hours, which means she'll give birth then. And we are also ready to age up Emily's last child. It is Vic's birthday today, so he is about to be a toddler. I think that's what I'm going to do first, is age him up. But I want to go ahead and set up the kids on their skills. So I was having her play chess. Um, I'm going to let them talk. It's fine. Um, I don't know how many times I have to queue it up, but it's queued up plenty. And then he, what are you working at? You have level two in motor and social. So I think I'm just going to have him work on the social skill. Um, I know you're just coming downstairs, but, uh, let's go back upstairs and we're going to use this mirror here in your room and practice speech. Again, I don't know how many times I'm supposed to queue it up. Sometimes they'll they'll go through it. Sometimes they'll stay on it until you cancel it. I just, I don't know which is which. So now they're queued up. Let's go age this baby up. Um, I'm going to have Zoe, he, I normally have when it's Emily's kids, her and Zoe age them up together. But this time around, I think... I'm just going to let her do it because she, Zoe is up, upstairs painting, so we'll have to sell paintings here soon. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and set her up to sell these, so 661, seven, 675, um, 767. 683 and then she can come harvest because girl needs to pay those bills even though we're we're 2,000 away from being at three grand that is insane we started this challenge off with thirty hundred thirty hundred dollars <laughs> wait thirty no thirty thousand thousand thirty thousand I don't know how to say numbers correctly <laughs> oh let's get a picture of you aging up yes oh their skin is the same color as Victor's is abnormal hold on is your eyes open yet I ain't I need to know what this baby's face looks like. It should look very Tim Burton-y. Um, of course it's not going to show. Yeah, I don't... The hat is so in the way. I don't know. Vic just aged up, so we can just use the random generator trait. So, one, two... One, two, three, and he is wild. Well, he is a temperate child, so I would assume so. Oh my god, I just want to see what you look like. Like, what is your face? Does your face look normal? Okay, his face looks somewhat normal. His eyes are really big. That's definitely a temperate thing, but I think it'll show more when he is a child. He has black hair, oh my god, he's like Victor's twin. I love it, Vic was the perfect name for him. But let's go ahead and go into 
create a sim with him and give him his makeover. Justin in all black. I figured that would be the best. Got a cute little picture with him and Emily. Um, I can't wait till he's a child so I can see more of those features in his face. Because I feel like that he's not going to look like a normal child. He's going to look like a Tim Burton child. But while we're at it, his needs, yeah, he just needs attention. So the best thing we can do here is go ahead and start potty training him. Um, Emily, I'm going to leave you to do that. Um, she's still halfway done. Not halfway done. Okay. Teach to walk. We can teach to walk another time. I need you to go potty. Alright. Potty help. There we go. Yay! Fast forward. And he's acquired the movement skill, so I can't wait for him to age up. So I'm hoping we can age him up tomorrow. Possibly. I have a big surprise plan for tomorrow, too. So be looking forward to that in the next episode. Okay, so how are you doing? Um, let's look at your skills. You're almost level 2. You need to get to level 3. Aren't these such cute pajamas though? Like, I love this shirt. Um, okay, Zoe, you are selling stuff now, so I can also get you to sell this one for $711, then come harvest sell. I was hoping I would catch her doing that, so I couldn't choose it before because she was currently painting it, so, you know. How are you coming? Almost level 3 and you do level 4 so you do have about the same amount of time left the two kids. It's so weird only having two active kids. Well I guess three active kids because he's a toddler now. But let's fast, let's fast forward this potty training and hurry up and get because he has to do it three times to get it to skill level 2. She's reached logic level 2. Very good, Venus. I feel like Venus would be very smart. So, isn't, doesn't she have the... I think she has the... Um... Genius trait, doesn't she? I, I don't know that for sure. But... No, she's a bookworm. That's what it is. I knew it was something smart, like... And then I need you to magic scrub scrub root this. Uh-huh. Oh. Okay. So there we go. Let's see. How's this coming? Okay, she sold all of those. Freaking fantastic. I love the temper baby so much. It's so cute. Um you just hit level three! Yes, now you just have to get to level four! How are you coming? Level two still. We're almost a fourth of the way there. We are... I want to just see the percentage. 27... Okay, we are a fourth of the day away. We're at 27 percent. Sorry, Saturdays are just, it takes a lot of skill building, and that's not very entertaining. I tried to pick out stuff that's kind of entertaining, but I feel like I did a bad job about it this time, because logic and social aren't very fun to watch, potty training's not fun to watch, harvesting's not fun to watch. <laughs> but I want to just get him to 
the the second skill on this and then we'll have him work on something else like movement we have him go dance I would do that with a lot of my kids okay um let's potty help Emily and then Emily I'm also gonna have you magic scrubber this that would be fantastic thank you very much All right, she is doing that last potty training and it shouldn't take too long. And then I'm going to have you come bob to music because that, that will get your uh, movement skill up. Zoe, what are you doing? Are you done harvesting? There's no way you harvest all those plants that quick. I guess you did. Oh, uh, well, are you thirsty? Yeah, you're a little thirsty. Um, let's eat a plasma fruit. Your fun's probably- No, your fun's not that down. Okay, he has reached level- Pi skill level 2. He can go dance. I guess we'll just have all of them dance. Right quick and have a cute little family moment. Uh, come dance. While people work on their skill. This is actually working on the toddler's skill, so... And this will be a cute shot. <laughs> Love this. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Zoe's pregnant too. I forgot. Okay, wait. What stage are you in? You third trimester yet? Third trimester in two hours. Okay, so we can give birth in two hours. Alright, but you know what? I'm not gonna, I was going to have her go paint, but I think I'm just going to let her dance it out. I she deserves it. Your progress in magical arts is gaining recognition. A magic care package is sent to you. Every alike containing some everyday essentials for up and coming spellcasters. Be sure to check your mailbox. Oh my gosh, but we should check our mailbox because then we could get more stuff to sell. Actually, no, I want Zoe to go get it because everything's already in her inventory. Who is this? My own, my own, why are you here? Like, I wanna, like, I get you're cute and all, but I don't see why you're here. Okay, is she in her third trimester yet? It still says two hours. <laughs> I just got all excited about that. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and sell everything, and then when I come back, she should be in labor. We are starting at $301,822. Alright, so now we're at $312,012. So that's like pretty much an 11 grand profit. Like, we are racking up on the bill. Money! But, um, we also- Oh, Venus finished her skill to level 3, which means she is ready to age up Monday. I'm just gonna have her do her homework. And he has skill level four, so he can also do his homework. Fantastic, do homework. He is going to work on his skill. He got his movement skill up to level two just by dancing, so he's going to work on his communication skills. And last of all, Zoe is in her third trimester. Third trimester, which means we can do this. We can control the MC command center, pregnancy, pregnancy phase, and pop her into labor. Fantastic. She'll, her stomach will come right back. There we go. And we are going to have a baby. Sorry I have a name suggestion picked out from you guys in particular. Make sure to show her giving birth. Alright, it's gonna be a boy or a girl. Boy or a girl. Let's see. It's a girl! Okay, so 
I'm going to leave the name suggestion right here. And we have the name Brooklyn, which I actually saw someone else comment as well. So that's why I decided to go with it. Plus, I just love the name Brooklyn. So we have Brooklyn Brock. And the reason they left this name suggestion is because the last name is Brock. And it's that Melissa or Emily Child, the same as Burton, but it's still a B. So it's a double B name. I love that idea. <gasps> it's a boy! It's a boy! Oh my god! We're having twins! We're having ten twins, and we're having one of each. I've never had that happen. I've had triplets where I had two girls and a boy, and I've had twins, but both times they were just two females. Oh my god. Okay. So this actually works as the double B babies. And we're going to name him Bryce. We're going to name from the same uh, comment. Did I spell that right? Yeah, Bryce. Is there any more? I think that's it. I think we did it. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, it has a vampire plus, so it might be a vampire. Where did our other baby go? Oh, I wish they were right next to each other. Can I do that? Can I? No, I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's fine. Uh, we need to super efficient baby care. The other one's asleep, so I feel like we're probably good. We're just going to beat it just in case. And cuddle it because we're not ashamed of it. <laughs> Is it doing our homework? Okay, yeah, so they need to finish their homework. Is Patchy helping you with your homework? No, we're just getting asked questions. Okay, but still, cute moment. Okay, but they got their skill, which was the main thing. <clears throat> we could. Ooh. I don't know how long we have. I kind of want to age him up, too. If we can go ahead and get his communication skill up. How, how's his needs? Ooh, his needs are getting really low, but if we ignore his needs and just fast forward him doing this skill, we could probably have him aged up. Um, let's see. I feel like I'm going to do that. I'm going to just fast forward. Let's go ahead and cook a cake. We'll just make, you know what, it's a September May. We are going to make a white and black cake. We normally do black and white, but we're doing white and black this time. And I think I'm just going to fast forward him and keep care of everyone's needs. Um, off camera, and I'll come back when he is done filling his needs. Because I feel like this episode is getting kind of long, and this is kind of pushing it, so I don't want to like go through that. And plus, all I'm going to be doing is setting up their needs. Okay, the cake is done. I had to have her make it twice because she tried to eat the first one, which is so aggravating, but it's fine. But it's black and white, just like him, and he is. Was the ninety two percent done with his uh his skill until he and once he gets that skill up he can be aged up. So oh yay, level two, okay. Okay, Emily, stop dancing. It's time to age him up. Oh my gosh, okay. We're aging him up twice in one episode. No, Emily don't blow up candles. That was my bad. I was talking, I shouldn't have been talking. Uh, help blow out candles. Big. There we go. Aged up twice in one episode. That's ridiculous. I'm super excited about it though. Probably what I'm going to do is after he ages up, I'm going to end the talking part of the episode. And then we can uh, go into yes, and I. makeovers <laughs> afterwards. Oh my gosh, yes. Let me get that shot. I want to get a shot with the candle too. But. 
I don't know which one would be better for the thumbnail, but Aisha up twice in one episode. That's ridiculous. Okay, but he is aging up into a child, so we'll have to go to createarandomsim.com. In this case, it'll be slash child. And then we just press randomize, and he wants to be artistic. Raji, he's a bookworm. I love that. He Again, he's like the Tim Burton baby, so you know. <laughs> Um, Artistic Prodigy and Bookworm. I think that's on the second page. Yep, Bookworm. Alright, like I said, I'm going to end this episode here. All we have left is his makeover. I can't believe he aged up twice in one episode. That was too easy. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was skill building day, so I guess. As all he did was skill build. But I'm going to end the talking part of this episode right here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that stuff because you're awesome people and enjoy the makeovers.